Four members of the King Cobra's gang have pleaded guilty to a vicious assault outside a Christchurch gay bar of four men that left one in a coma with a fractured skull. Patched King Cobra members Junior Faiva, brothers Miguel Moagutuli and Marcus Moagutuli, and a fourth man appeared in the High Court at Christchurch before Justice Rob Osborne this month. They were apprehended in connection with a brawl that transpired at Cruise Bar and Nightclub on Victoria Street in Christchurch during the early hours of March 21, 2021. The men pleaded guilty to a raft of charges between them relating to their individual parts in the attack, including causing grievous bodily harm with intent to injure, assault with intent to injure, assault, unlawful possession of non-prohibited firearm parts, unlawful possession of ammunition, and failure to carry out obligation in relation to a computer search. A fifth man has pleaded not guilty to charges relating to the assault and is due to go to trial later this year. According to the police summary of facts, each of the men are patched members of the King Cobras, aside from the fourth man who was a prospect of the gang. About 2.40 a.m. on March 21, 2021, the men and several associates arrived at Cruise Bar on Victoria Street, Christchurch. Just after 3 a.m., Brandon Paseka Mwata'ane, 25, younger brother Ricky Mwata'ane, 19, and David Lolohea arrived at the bar. The trio were initially not allowed into the bar, but a patron came to the door and asked, they be let in. Upon entering the bar, the victims were surrounded by the defendants. It is unknown what was discussed. However, soon the victims tried to leave the bar and there was some pushing and shoving between the two groups. As they were exiting, one of the defendants punched one of the victims. They all then spilled out onto the street. The KCs chased the three victims out of the bar and across the road, chasing them all down. This is when the brutal attack started. One of the victims was punched several times, causing him to fall to the ground. He tried to protect himself by curling up and covering his head. He was kicked and punched repeatedly over his head and body. Another of the victims had his head held off the ground by one of the defendants, while the others punched and kicked him in the head and face until he was unconscious. The KCs continued to stomp, kick and punch him about the head while he was unconscious. A member of the public yelled at the gang members to stop or they would kill the victim. The defendants ignored this and continued the attack. The victim's brother attempted to stop the attack on his brother. He was knocked to the ground by the defendants who kicked, punched and stomped on his head until he was unconscious. Another of the victims then ran to him and lay over his head in an attempt to shield him from the group. He was kicked in the face, dragged off his friend and punched and kicked about the head. One of the victims suffered a fractured skull, a brain bleed and brain damage. He was placed in intensive care and was in a coma for a number of days. He was hospitalized for weeks following the attack before being moved to Wellington Hospital for specialist rehabilitation. He sustained life-changing injuries as a result of the attack. The summary of facts said, his brother suffered severe bruising and swelling to his right eye and bruising and swelling to his head. He had a severe concussion and has ongoing issues with his memory and headaches. Another of the victims suffered bruising and swelling to his head, face and body. The fourth victim had a concussion and bruising and swelling to his face, head and body. It is understood up to 15 police officers were needed to provide assistance to ambulance staff as they attended to the three men and the two brothers were taken to Christchurch Hospital. Following this, police launched Operation Victoria and raided the King Cobra's gang pad on Hands Road, Middleton being the Snake Fit Boxing Club. On May 7, 2021, police searched Miguel Moagutuli's home. Two 22 caliber silencers were located in his bedroom. There were also 50 rounds of 22 LR ammunition. He did not hold a firearms license and had no reason to be in possession of firearm parts or ammunition. Police seized his cell phone, and when a police officer asked for his PIN code, he refused. At the fourth man's house underneath his bed was one Bushmaster XM-15 semi-automatic rifle, one Benelli bolt-action shotgun, and one Tika T3X bolt-action rifle. 
The Benelli Bolt Action Rifle and the Tika T3X Rifle were identified as being stolen in separate burglaries. Ammunition was also found in his bedroom. He did not hold a firearms license. Faiva, the Moagutuli brothers and the fourth man, who has interim name suppression, will be sentenced on April 18th. A fifth man has pleaded not guilty to charges relating to the assault and is due to go to trial later this year. The King Cobra Gang was established in 1958 by a small group of Polynesians. Originally formed to unify troubled Polynesian youth and street gangs around the Ponsonby, Graylin and Auckland CBD area. Its main aim was to protect the minorities and their families during the Polynesian migration into Auckland where racism was at its peak. The gang has grown rapidly throughout the years and its influence has spread amongst other ethnicities where members from all different nationalities have joined the Brotherhood. It is one of the biggest clubs in Auckland and is one of the oldest and respected clubs in New Zealand. The King Cobras have had a presence across South, Central, North, West Auckland, Hutt Valley, Wellington and Christchurch. In recent decades, the KCs have proven to be a highly formidable and dangerous criminal force, leaving a trail of violence and illicit activities in their wake. They have been involved in major cases of drug dealing, including in methamphetamine, cocaine and marijuana. In 2003, members of the King Cobras ran a large methamphetamine ring along with the headhunters in one of Auckland's biggest drug cases. The King Cobra's notoriety extends beyond drug-related offences, as their rap sheet includes a string of murder cases that further solidify their reputation for ruthlessness. As law enforcement grapples with the escalating challenges posed by this ruthless gang, their legacy remains etched in the dark annals of criminal history. If you are looking for exciting and eye-catching bikey updates, ensure you stay connected by hitting that subscribe button. Extend the camaraderie by watching, sharing, commenting, and liking the videos. Please also consider sending a super thanks. To keep the channel thriving and the Grid Sparta team motivated, it helps a lot, as most of the videos on this channel are not monetized due to the nature of our content. Until next video, take care and Wu Tang.